Welcome back to Safest Channel. Today we'll be discussing the second question of PST, which is inserting a node in PST. Now this is a super important question, and I want you to stay till the end. Why? Because we are going to be discussing all the edge cases, and I want you to think about all the edge cases yourself. If you miss a case, you have to think about why you missed it. You have to tell me in the comments. And the next time you face a similar question where such case would be applicable, you have to make sure that you don't miss it at all. Let's see the question. So this is the question. Insert a node in BST. We are given a BST and we are given a K value. So the new node that we are going to insert should have the K value. Now you should see that here the condition that is given is that if K is not present in the BST, only then we have to insert. Okay. Now in case you were not doing a question and you were in an interview and you are given the question that insert a node in the BST. These are the cases that you should ask your interview. You should ask it. that if K is already present in the BST, what should I do? Should I throw an error code or should I just return and should not do anything? Here it is saying that if it is not present, then you have to insert. Otherwise, you don't have to do anything. Okay. If K is already present in the BST, don't modify the BST. Now you should be asking your interviewer that okay, if it is already present, what should I do? These are the edge cases that we have to think of. Now let's make the diagram and let's see that. How do we make sure that inserting a node in BST make sure that all the properties of the BST are still satisfied? So suppose this is the BST that is given to us and we are given a K value. Okay, now we have to insert. Now I am going to make a statement and you have to think about why that statement is true. I am saying that the new node that we are going to insert, let's say that the node is not present okay, and we are inserting a new node. Now I am saying that the new node that I am going to insert is always going to be a leaf node. I have to think about this. Why am I saying this? That Always, I am going to insert the new node either here, 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 or here. I don't have to make any change to the BST that we already have. Now, why will that be the case? Let's think about that. Now, let's say this k value that we have is bigger than this node and it is less than this node. What does that mean? It should be on the right side of this. So, it will make sure that it is bigger than this, but still, it will make sure it is less than this, right? Because it is on the left side. Now suppose we have to insert the k which is lesser than this particular node and it is greater than the root value that we have. Then we can just insert it over here, right? Similarly, if we insert a node in any of these places, we are making sure that okay, BST is maintained. How? We are just going to see that if the value k is bigger, we have to insert the node on the right. If the value of k is less, we have to insert it on the left. That is all that we have to think about. See, we have to think about the properties of BST. Now, properties of BST should be mentioned. Now, what were the properties that we discussed? That the left subtree, all the values should be lesser than the root. Right subtree, all the values should be greater. And also, it should be true for the left subtree and right subtree. Both the left subtree and the right subtrees should be BST. So, we have to think about this. See, now, BST is a binary tree. Now, binary tree can have 0, 1 or 2 children. Even if this is the tree, it's fine. Even if we are inserting on the right side only, it is still a BST. Why? Because there are 0 or 1 or 2 children, right? So that is fine. Even if it is like this, it is still a BST. It should not get confused. Okay? It should not look balanced. It should not always look like this. It is fine if it looks like this. If it looks like this. So don't get confused over there. So the basic point is that we just have to insert a new leaf node considering the properties of BST and we'll be done. Now let's see that how will we make sure that in which position we have to insert the leaf node. So this is the key k that we have to insert. We start checking from the root. If the key k value is more, the value that we have to insert is more than the root value that we have. That means this new node should exist in the right subtree, right? So we move towards right. So now what we have to do is we can just discard the left subtree because we know because this is of no use at all. We know that the new node that has to be inserted is in the right subtree. So we can just discard the left subtree. Similarly, we come over here and we check, okay, whether the k value that has to be inserted is more than this value or it is less than this value. If it is less than this value, then we can move to the left subtree and we can just ignore the right subtree as it is. So basically here we are doing something like binary search. What do we do in binary search? We chuck like half of the values, right? Here also we are doing something like that only. Here we are checking half of the tree. We are either moving towards left subtree or towards right subtree and then moving forward. Let's finally start writing the code. So we are given the root of the tree and this is the key that we have to insert. So now in any tree question, what is the first case that we should always think of? The first case that we should always keep in mind is that what if the root value is none? That means there are no nodes in the tree present. Because if we don't put this check, what will happen? In anywhere we start referencing this root value and it is none, we are going to have a crash. So we don't want that. In all the tree questions, this is the first thing that we should check. That if there is no node, what do we do? 
In this case, if there is no node, what do we have to do? We have to insert a new node, and that will be the only new node in the tree, and we have to return it. Okay. So let's put that check first. So if there is no root, I am going to create a new node. I'm going to pass the key value, and I'm going to return. It. Okay. Now we start by comparing the key values with the root value that we have. Okay. So what do we do? I check that if the key value is greater than the root of data that we have. You have to think about this. Where do we have to insert in the right subtree or in the left subtree? Now the root, the key value is more, so it belongs in the right subtree, right? So now what do I do? I divide my problem into a smaller problem by just doing like I have to insert into the right subtree, right? Now there are a bunch of questions that you should be having after this statement. The first question that you should be thinking of is that why have we not written any helper or utility function over here? In most of the key questions that we have done till now, we usually write a new helper or a utility function, and then we uh, use that function as the recursive function, right? But here, what am I doing? I am reusing the function that was given to me, and I am using that itself as the recursive function. Why am I doing that? See, it is not necessary that we always need a helper or a utility function. Here, we have to pass the same things, root and key. We have to pass the same things. We can return the same thing. Then I don't need a new function. So it is important in recursion to identify that do you really need a new helper function or a utility function, and what do we need to pass? What do we need to return? And here, what was the condition of dividing a problem into a smaller subproblem? Here we check that the key value, if it is greater, then we have divided the problem into a smaller subproblem. We had chunked the left subtree, and now we are considering only the right subtree, right? So else, if the key value is less, what do we do? We insert in the left subtree, right? So we pass root ka left, and then we pass key. Okay, let's start thinking about more cases now. We have checked whether the key value is greater than, and we have checked whether the key value is less than, right? So else by else we meant that the key value is less than. But what happens when they are equal? Suppose the key value was already present in the root. So this was the case that we had already talked about. That if the key is not present in the base only, then we have to insert, right? So we have to make sure that we add a check that if the root value is same. If root ka data is equal to key, that means we don't have to do anything. We can just return root from here. It's talking about the return value. Here we were returning the new node because there was no root value. Here we have returned the root value. Here also in the end we are expected to return node, right? So we have to return root over here because we have to return the tree, right? Also in the previous three questions that we have done, we have always seen the multiple ways of writing the code, right? So since we have put over here the check earlier itself that if there is no root Present, then we can just insert the new node and return. We have to think about: Do we really need to put the checks over here or not? See, if the root ka right was not present, we would just pass the null value, and that is fine because the new node would be inserted, and we would just return. And that is why dry running is very, very important over here to understand that in the end we'll be inserting a new node as the leaf node only. Why? Because in the end, at some point, we'll be passing null only, and in the end, at some point, we will come into this. If the key value is not present, and then we'll create a new node and pass it. Okay. Do you think we are done? Now I want you to dry run and really understand and think that if we are done or not. Okay. Pause over here. Think about it. There is one very very important thing that I'm missing. I want you to think about it yourself. That what is missing right here? It's compile and see whether this works or not. See here, the output is one two three. The expected output is one two three four. Four is missing, so it actually did not get added to the tree. Why did it not get added to the tree? Because we have already returned now. If root is not present, then we have to create a new node and return. We have created a new node. We have returned it, but have we really attached it to the tree? We have created a new node, but did we attach it to the tree? See here, one more thing to notice that we have a return value over here. Now think about it. See here, I am inserting. I have made a new node, but I am never in. Attaching it to the tree. So how can I attach it to the tree? If I write like this, if root ka right is equal to this. See why am I doing this? Because in the end I am returning root. So in this subtree also, whatever is the root, basically root ka right, that will be written and we will be passing that. So in the end, when we create the new node, I will be passing that and I will be assigning root ka right or root ka left to it. If this part is not clear, it is because you are not dry running properly. And we have to think about these edge cases also. So let me know in the comments if you thought about it yourself or not. Let's compile and see now. So now this works. Let's submit and see. Passed all the test cases. Last point of the video: What is the time and the space complexity? Here, the expected time and the space complexity given to us is height of the BST. 
what does height of the bst actually represent see whenever we are going in one of the paths either in the left path right path like that but we will be going in one of the paths only right so in the worst case we will be going through height of the bst right so that is the extra recursive space that we are going to require because every time either we are going to the left tree or the right tree so we are going to chuck half 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 worst case we are going to go deep down where till the height of the tree so that is why that is the space that goes if you have any doubts give me so i hope the video was helpful and i hope you will show up tomorrow i will be here for sure tomorrow's video is already recorded and edited i will be waiting for you thank you so much see you.